Hi, my name is Paul and welcome to the next video in our WordPress series. Basically, we're showing you how to make this exact website click by click. It's just a simple website I made and I'm walking you through how to do it with the actual tools in WordPress. Now, in the last video, we went over how to make a static web page, which is a really important component of a website. But static pages only have the story for a website. The other component is dynamic content. And that's what we're going to do today. The best place for dynamic content is through a blog. Basically, a blog lets you add new things to your website and it just kind of shuffles it down puts it in line with everything else. So it can change over time, but you don't actually have to get into your website and change any of the actual nuts and bolts. It's already designed to take new content, just put it in the stream basically, right? So that's what we're going to do today. Well, the first step to getting dynamic content on your site in the form of a blog is to give it a place to be. So we need to make a page that's going to be the blog page. So in your dashboard, we're going to go to the bottom left here where it says pages, and we're going to add a new page. Just click right there. And this is what we did last time for our About Us page. But this time we're going to call it Blog. Let's call it that right there. And I'm just going to click Publish. Now the next step is to tell your website this is the blog page. So we're going to go to the Settings section on the bottom left and click Reading. And this is where we can go right at the top. You'll notice we have a couple options. We've already told it that we want the front page to be the About page. That's the first page people see. But now what we want is a Post page and we're going to tell it to be blog. That's the page we just made. So that's where our posts are going to go. Let's click Save Changes. And we're going to go to our website and the tab or window that we have open. And we're going to click Refresh and see what happens. Perfect. Now you'll notice next to the Home button, we have a new page here called Blog. It just showed up. Let's click on it and see what it looks like. Perfect. Now WordPress gives us a dummy post to start us off. It says, Hello World. Great. We're going to put our own post in here, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But so far, so good. We've got a blog page going, and it looks like our first post is already working. So now let's add our own posts. Okay, we're going to go back to the dashboard, and we're going to go up to the top tool here where it says Posts. It's right under Dashboard. This is where you go to see all the posts you made. Now, the first one they've already made for us, we don't need, so I'm just going to throw that in the trash by clicking Trash. So that's gone. Now let's add a new post. Right up here on the left, click Add New. Now, I've got some posts that I made on my own personal blog I'm going to use here just for example's sake. Full disclosure, Bluehost does not endorse any of my positions or comments in these posts. These are just my personal thoughts. Just throwing them on here so we have something to play with. So I'm going to go there and grab one of my posts here. This is one I did last year on some favorite movies. I'm just going to paste that into this editing section right here. And I'm going to give it a title. Um, this, I believe, was 2010 Movie Thoughts. I'll put that in there. And you'll notice this is all kind of ready to go. I bolded some things, given it some spacing. And one thing that I did want to add is a picture. I have a picture that I made for this. So I'm going to add the picture right about here. You just got to click Upload and Insert. And I have a file already on my desktop ready to go. Movie posters, there we go. Choose that. Now I want this file to be big. I want it to occupy the whole post. So down here in the Options, I'm going to leave it as full size or large rather. How's large? That looks good and click Insert into Post. Perfect. Now I'm going to click Update. And then I'm going to go back to my website, to the blog page, and see if the change took place. Perfect. There we go. There's my first post. And it looks great. Awesome. Now let's add another post. Let's go back to where I have these saved. This is the one that I want to show you. I'm going to copy that and put it in. Sweet Baby James. Now this post was about a song I stumbled across. Um, I've always loved this song by James Taylor, but I hadn't heard this rendition of it before. So I wanted to share this, uh, this song that I heard. So I wanted to be able to embed the YouTube link into the post. So I'm going to go here to the link. Copy that. And WordPress is great. WordPress is designed to take your link from YouTube and just put it in your post automatically. You don't need to know anything special to do it. All you got to do is paste in the actual link to the, the video that you can get from YouTube. So let me click Publish, and let's see what it looks like when I go to the actual website itself. Blog, and there it is. You'll notice it put the video actually in the post. And if I want, I could actually click Play, and it'll start playing right there in my blog. Very cool. So our posts are looking great, but there's something on the right that we still want to fix, and that's called the sidebar. This section on the right is something that you can change. So we're going to go to our dashboard, we're going to go to the appearance section, 
and we're going to go to widgets. Now widgets are fun little tools built into WordPress that make it really easy to, to add things to your pages. Now you'll notice here there's tons of options and these are great. You just click and drag them. So let's say on the right hand side a couple things I want. We already have a search bar on our theme so we don't need that. But I can see recent posts. That could be handy. I think I like that. I want to put links in here. So I'm going to put that. Click save on both of these. Scroll down and you actually don't need to publish this. This is already live. Let's go back to our website. Click refresh and see if those things pop up. Perfect. There they go. On the right-hand side now, we have all the posts we've made, the movies one, the James Taylor one, and underneath is blog roll. Blog roll is what they've, they're calling our links. Now, we don't need these links here. I don't care about any of these, so I'm going to go and change them. So we're going to go back to the dashboard and go to the links tool on the left-hand side, and we're going to look at all the links that we have. Now, these are ones WordPress came with standard. I don't want them, so I'm going to select all of them and uh, click delete here from the drop-down menu, apply. Okay, so we got rid of those. Now, I'm going to add links that I like. These are just some of my personal favorite things for my personal website. First, though, I want to add some categories. So instead of blog roll, I'm going to change this and add one to podcasts. These are favorite podcasts that I like. I'm going to add that. And I'm going to add one for just favorite things and add that. Okay, now I have some categories. Let's start adding links. I've got a bunch here. Here's one that I like. This is a podcast. I'm going to click Add New. And I can call it what it is, first off, Radio Lab. And then I'm going to put in the link to the uh, podcast. And right down here for Categories, I tell it, OK, this is a uh, podcast link. Click Add Link. Now let's go to the website and see what it looks like. Let's click Refresh right here. And there we go. Podcast, and it shows up because I put one in there. Let's add a couple more really quick. So now let's go to our website and see if those links are showing up. Re click Refresh. Yep, looks like it. Now I've got two favorite things listed and two podcasts listed. And I can go back and add these and change these whenever I want. So that's how you make categories. Now in the next video, we're going to go over how to add photos or photo gallery to your website.